For all the people saying get a roommate to be able to afford rent you are the problem. I swear if people tell you to get a roommate to afford rent you have a problem. A single person should be able to afford a one bedroom all on their own. Now you got couples trying to squeeze into studio apartments or a one bedroom if you're lucky. It's not like we are even asking for luxury apartments. Is it really spoiled that single people want to be able to afford rent without needing help? Edit wow I didn't expect this post to blow up but thanks just to clarify things a bit what I mean by people who say to get a roommate as part of the problem I meant as people are accepting roommates as the new solution to affordable renting. The problem being we need to preach against apartments with high rent. People who want studio or one bedroom apartments should be able to afford that without working themselves to death working 50-60 hours a week. I've read too many horror stories of insane roommates to go out and live with some rando. Before you. Say room with a friend jokes on you I don't have any friends. Right? I shouldn't need a second person to help me afford my crappy, old apartment with zero amenities. And, related, they need to stop making every new apartment building a luxury apartment. I don't want nor need a pool and a workout center and a community room and whatever else. I need an apartment. Having a roommate is great you get to spend all day at work with people you don't like then you come home and do it all over again. Agreed. Skip taking vacation. Start a side hustle. Buy cheaper foods. Get a second job. Get a roommate. All these things are short-term solutions that ultimately become the norm until everyone is working 60 hours a week with no time off and going home to their rented 600 square feet apartment they share with a stranger and eating cricket dust protein shakes and rice. My favorite one is get married. Like okay asshole thanks why didn't I think of finding a loving partner instead of facing life alone. A single person should be able to afford a studio, no exceptions. No spouse. No roommate. Had this happened pretty recently. Was offered a promotion at work that would involve me relocating. They rejected my offer when they asked how much they'd have to pay me to do it. I told them I can't live off of anything less than X amount. My boss boss had the nerve to ask, well, do you have any friends in the area you could room with? Um, no, I don't. I'd prefer to live by myself. Well, I guess we'll just have to revisit this conversation at a later date. Or, maybe just pay me what I asked. ID say wages and housing prices are the real problem. But your 100 correct a person should be able to afford a place to live by themselves. Or fucking hell you done opened a can of worms for me. Every day I deal with people who once flipped houses are now renting them cause they make more money. Then there's the corporate real estate companies who say their goal is to make every American a renter. There has to be a solution to this. It is insane. I have two of them. They are loud man babies that never clean up after themselves. If I wanted to play nanny, I'd just pop a kid out. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Exactly. I'm not fucking asking for a penthouse suite. I just want a nice quiet studio apartment for myself so I can live in peace and not have to worry about roommates fucking up the kitchen sink or cleaning up after them. FFS please just let me have an affordable place by myself. I'm currently working 7 days a week for 81 days in a row now. My rent is $1,800 for a one brother. My apt is constantly surrounded by homeless camps, my refrigerator has been broke for a month with no responses from maintenance. Cockroaches and mice year round. I'm working myself into a depression for sure. My rent increased by 22 this year. I'm almost 30. I should be able to rent my own apartment on 60k. Apparently it's not enough. Same as the ones who tell people already working 40 hours a week to get a second job to afford a house. You are the problem not the solution. Normalize saying hi, I'm declining because the salary you're offering isn't nearly enough to rent a studio anywhere in this city more often. Heck, use those jobs as practice interviews.
the same people who think everyone should just get live with bunches of roommates will also complain about how there's never any parking and that the streets are in rough shape and how the apartment buildings are so run down. Well, yeah, you stuff five times as many people into a living situation as it was built for, the infrastructure is going to fall apart that much faster. I tried having a roommate in my house. Twice. I lasted all of five months before I was like I need you to leave now because I am going to go insane. I just can't handle other people living in my space. I thrive off of being alone and if I couldn't afford to live on my own I would claw my eyes out. Because we pause don't deserve privacy. A single person working full time should be able to buy a studio at the bare minimum. There are legitimate reasons to rent, but if the option of home ownership isn't available it means that person isn't truly independent or free. Not to mention if you got kids legally at least around here they have to have their own room. None of that giving them the one room and parents sleeping on a pull-out couch in the living room. One of my co-workers is a single mom going through custody proceedings and has no choice but to move back home because renting a two-bedroom in a major city on one income is next to impossible. And that's even though our company pays about 2x minimum wage for found floor work. The problem with getting a roommate in some cities now like mine is that each tenant needs to make 3x the monthly rent as opposed to older days where they considered the monthly combined income of the tenants. Apartment complexes are afraid a tenant may bail and leave the other tenant s on the hook for rent. So yes getting roommates can help tremendously with paying rent, as much as it may suck. But, good luck qualifying. Totally agree. After college, living with roommates just doesn't feel the same. Grown adults with careers and full-time jobs should not have to struggle just to keep a roof over our heads. 100 Agree. I mentioned a one-bedroom being $2,300 and was told to get a roommate. That would require a bedmate, and I don't really think that's a solid suggestion. I fucking hate it here. I think the greedy landlords and private equity companies are more the issue, on top of antiquated zoning laws based in racism. About a decade or so ago, McDonald's hired an economist to work out a program so their employees could make ends meet. Two of the suggestions were get a roommate and get a second job. Nothing about unionizing or just get a better paying job. These people really grind my gears. Anytime I mention that money is really tight, I'm asked about my living situation. Yes, I have two other roommates, a bed bug infestation, and downstairs neighbors that chain smoke making our apartment an ashtray. We all pay $550 for rent not including utilities, and this is in Tennessee where the cost of living is one of the lowest in the country. The sad part is is that if we were all going to move out of our terrible place, we'd be looking at paying about $700 a month per person because market value. Why is it such a crazy concept for a fully grown adult to want and need their own privacy? To have a home of their own that they can do whatever they want in? We're treated like workers bees that just need to show up to make our bosses money, then go shack up with each other until the next shift starts. It needs to fucking stop. When I asked my boss for a raise and showed him all the numbers to demonstrate how rough the budget actually is, and what my position actually was supposed to get paid, his response was that he had multiple roommates for years until he could get his own place. He knew I was living in the city in a one-bedroom showbox apartment he could see most of the apartment from our video calls. He lived two hours out of town and had a three-bedroom house. He was such a snake in the grass. Exactly. It's one bedroom. Intended for one person or a couple. WTF should you need more incomes to afford what is meant to be a single person living situation? I hate having roommates because two of mine are absolutely unhinged and annoying to have around. One is a shameless home wrecker and the other, her uncle, is a sex pest that hits on me while he has a girlfriend. Utter garbage. Roommates suck. Better to live alone. Boss told me this, I told him to fuck off and went back to work. I may live check to check but I will live alone. Roommates have really only caused me issues. LOL wonder what my future husband would say when I tell him we need separate rooms. 
Honestly, landlord simps are the saddest people on this whole site.